All right, hey, good morning, children of the sun. Goldman gives his best, and uh, America, uh, what I want you to know is that um, they are just being so hypocritical. What I mean by they is everyone in the American financial system and the American governmental system. It don't even make no sense to me no more financially to be putting on your money, your model, and which any real American knows is absolutely necessary to the safety and security of all life. So dude, and do that, man, hey, let's just put it this way. Robo retardos, share our cog videos, click, 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 share, share, Follow the rules, follow the directions, follow it, man. If I had uh, someone to work my YouTube shit and my editing, then what I could do, and then if I had four camera people, then I could be adding pictorial descriptions of situations and services available, people, and prices. And okay, I'll just give you an average. Here, I'll give you an average. It's different. The price is different for everyone for my service because my service for everyone required is different. Okay. What I want to tell you is a medical lesson here. And an into war campaign to end pharmaceutical cartel death and violence. Nazism. To end American Nazi genocide. I am going to video a statistic right here so you can see this. How... I'm going to show you how to research things that really matter. How many people googly, let's start out with one, die from FDA approved drugs. Man. The FDA gives drugs a bad name. Now that's a bumper sticker. The FDA gives drugs a bad name, dude. Okay, there you go. Okay, and most of these are psychiatric patients. I bet you that number's just lowered a little bit. Because anytime it has zero, zero, zero on the end, you don't think it's that much. It was 128,000 is a shit to an American. Americans live big and large. Americans, they're not into 128,000. They're into 120 gazillion. Because they want to be the world's leading dude who has a Ferrari worth the more than the GDP of everywhere else in a, besides America combined today. And I just want to let you guys know, I want you to donate to my worldwide ministry because my kingdom of Nigeria friends have been just needing me so bad and you know when I get there all I need you guys to do is raise money for a plane ticket and like if a thousand dollars came in and you guys people in the industrial industrial know nothing about anything else not even around the world not even down the street not even in front of your face you don't know nothing about anything at all all you do is repeat what you're programmed to say that is a scientific fact that is factual and there are ways to escape that but nobody fucking thinks about it nobody thinks about it i do Ah, so do the members of my secret society. Whichever one of them I want them to be in. Because every single one of them serves absolutely different purposes. And not a single one of them knows that any other one exists. <laughs> the thing is, this is mind-blowing. But if you do as I need help with... 
and you do unto others as you'd have done unto you, then if you send me enough money to not die from hypothermia, not being mugged by Pakistani and Syrian private special forces, black ops, psychotronic warriors like me, they get the natives in the night. Man, I'm the green line train, and this is a fuck show, and ah, that Alice in your Russo, I am a man of my word, and let me tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, your honor. As a PhD, uh, acute adult psychiatric emergency room doctor, you do not go in that room with uh, not a piece of paper or not the, the notices or not the 72 hour notice. And there's a whole bunch of regulations there. And you do not just go in the room and say something. And then when I say fuck off, you go ahead and you write a petition for a Jarvis order because you just made your absolute decision on my permanent condition of delusional thinking, of psychosis, and of mania, and of uh, uh, bipolar disorder one. <sighs> Man, and see, so I get the stigma of dis bipolar disorder. And I don't have that. I never did. I never will. Because that is not an affliction that I have. And I'm not going to develop that affliction. Because I'm not a bipolar. Bipolar people are people who sleep for 16 hours. Because they simply choose to do that. And then they do drugs. And then they do a bunch of shit. And then... And then... Mentally ill people, or is anyone, anyone else, wants a target for forced chemical warfare? Extremely fucked up shit, but I gotta tell you about it, because otherwise you don't care. And even when I do tell you about it, no one cares. No one cares. No one cares about the mental patients. No one. No one. Now let me tell you something that is cool as fuck. Back in the 1780s, 90s, up in the 1800s, in my lodge, orders were from the United States Cavalry. If I ever showed my face, that they would shoot to kill me down because such, I am such a and, and they, you know what? We made a deal. We made a deal. We, I did. I, peace offerings. That peaceful and non-peaceful life just cannot simply refuse. And that is why I am the peacekeeping force number one on planet Earth, but also on other planets and dudes. Uh, the future of not just planet Earth, not just the Milky Way galaxy, but all of what you consider is to be your known universe. <laughs> because the reason you know it there is you built machines that made it be there. <laughs> because you guys are all tripping, hallucinating and shit. Because you don't eat properly. Man, let's do a drug lesson here. Okay. This is a good one to tap it into how the psychopharmaceutical really fucks you, man. Okay, so, um, all you guys have heard about meth. And now all you guys are saying, fuck meth, fuck meth, fuck meth, man. All you guys are thinking now is how bad meth is, how fucked up it is, and how fucked up it's making everyone who does it, and how it's the number one problem in the nation, and how two kids just got busted with, oh my God. And I decided to uh, go ahead and charge them as an adult because they were 15. And it stated all over the Twin Cities on the Metro Transit bus. On the Metro Transit bus. And that makes it, that makes it like local. On the Metro Transit bus, bus, you walk in 
and they're just trying to tell you a whole bunch of theories, right? Now, for new joiners to reality, um, for people that don't listen, days, I'm just going to do a video, which is one word. You guys tell me the word you want me to repeat, and then I will repeat that word. And then the first person to give me absolute verification on how many times I said that word, and how many times per minute I said that word, that will give you a mathematical formula. And then I will give you a challenge mission that goes like this. Because you learned how to read. And because you read what I wrote. And because after you read what I wrote, you did what you were told to do in the book you read. Now tell me, do you remember how many pages were in the book you just read? What did you say your name was? Uh, I heard... I'm sorry, man. I'm from the other side of town. This old man. That's what I'm old, dude. That's all American, man. I, you know? Hey, forgive me, man. I'm trying to remember, isn't it? No, man, my name is Jimmy. <laughs> what up, Jimmy? Thanks for making our appointment. I've cleared 20 seconds. It's already up. You owe me $2 million. <laughs> Good playing, buddy. <laughs> Dude, I have plans for how we should operate the American government transition and full dissolution and full um what we're gonna do is we are going to go back through all the way back through all the way back through we have records and transactions and birth certificates and credit cards that have been cloned 38,000 times man you guys Dude, someone did something cool, and I want to figure out how to do this more. Then here's the truth. You live in a Republican state, state republic. You live in a state that has a constitution, and you live in a federation of constitutional republics. Okay? And that federation is, a, is the, the name of the organization of all 50... Sovereign constitutional Republican uh, states, Republican constitutional republics, areas of land that have borders and shit. Um, let me just put it up in the of my security forces. <laughs> I just, all right, Donald Trump, man, dude, how many times am I gonna tell you? Hey, guys, man. If you could search out the Twitters I have sent, I got a job for someone, a paying job. This job pays, um, this job pays better the quicker I get the answer. I pay for prompt, I pay for people to win, um, prizes because it, I have proven the exact opposite to people that I already scientifically knew when I was born. Okay, here's how. Another thing about the psychiatry, the psych ward. So how many times, and this is going out to you people, because every single one of you people, one of you people, one of you, every single one of you bitches, every single one of you Nazis, every single one of you mind control agents, every single one of you that did not like the fact that I was coming out of an undercover mission and giving you an opportunity to become an ally and provide for your safety and security and your immunity like in Operation Paperclip. Huh? You know, you think I'm going to take another 300 fucking life assassination while Sue Stevens just says every time I ask for my money, she has 
a more next level psychological, financial, emotional warfare campaign assassination attempt for me. And see, the thing is, people tell me that. They tell me, chill out. Dude, really? Okay. Fuck you. Don't tell me what to do. Get out of my house right now. Get out right now. Get out right now. Yeah. And then they don't get out, dude. And so I say, if you don't get out right now, where the fuck is going? And then that doesn't do nothing. Because I am blood vow old to do no wrong. But you know what? I am asking. I'm asking for someone to make me. To make me. To make me. Someone send this video to Joshua down at Hennepin County Medical Center at their health care facility for psychiatric consumer. Holy shit, show. Dude, you fucking people, man, made me so goddamn sick. And that is the literal true fact of the matter, and that will hold up in court and law. This is what I will say. You... American people and the way you treat me is against laws of child trafficking and is against laws of all laws in all nations that have to do with anything with not doing bad things to people. Not doing bad things to people. But we have a system that perpetuates doing bad things to everyone because the only thing our entire world system of justice does is be thugs and put people in jail and make money off of slave labor. Oh boy. Oh boy. And then when I get like this and I'm saying this, dad, dude, man, whatever you are, quit running towards me, man, with your arms out, dude. Quit running at me, dad. Hey, man, dude. What is your problem, dude? I'm just trying to talk some shit out with you, dude, and I'm having a panic attack. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, I don't go. Okay, okay. He comes at me again, and I did what I told him I would do. And I was in the middle of the dining room at 404 Wenzel, the witch hat house. The demon center I was brought in. Because my mother, Susan Marie Stevens, Reichenbach, Woog, and my father, Christopher Gerard Stevens, he is a high warlock to the Black Lord's darkness. And so is Susan Marie. I don't even, she don't even know, dude. She is so screwed up and robotic. All she is designed to do, to me, is the worst psychological warfare campaigns, man. And so, you know, because I was institutionalized in a Nazi prison camp by Americans abusing Americans on an American soil. No, that ain't true. Dude, at the hospitals of America, the percentage of people in there that are Americans is like 20. Guess who the other percentage is? I'll give you a hint. When I said, do you know why and how crazy it is that all these fucking medicine that man I didn't know here's what happened I don't remember you guys thinking, but you just came coming to give me my pills okay and here's what's up at the hospital you are under a legal civil commitment that permits not only permits not only mandates but demands their medication to be ingested into them so people that made it like me don't get beat up 80% of the time. So you're sitting in the psych ward. You're sitting in the psych ward. And here's what you do. Here is what is going on. This is how they treat people with mental disabilities and special needs. You guys, you guys, you guys treat mentally ill people don't exist. You don't call us. And not even that, but it's worse. You do call us once. In that last six month segment, my brother, my blood brother, Matthew Robert Stevens, born on 4 something 18, 1978. Man, 
did I take him under my arm. Man, did I protect him. Man, did I give him a good time. Man, were we separated at the hip. Man, did he hold me up every time I came over. He bitched about it every time. Bitched about it every time. Man, do you think Andrew... Andrew? I need to call Andrew, man. I need to get Andrew in on this. Andrew Daniels. Jesus. I just realized... Yeah, man. It's been going on. It's been going on my whole life. And you know what? The only one out of my family that I ever aggressed upon is no one. But everyone... Uh, but because I... When my dad... When I was being like this... Totally conscious, man, not on drugs, not on anything wacko, not on David Koresh, not on the church you brought me to, definitely not on Chris Stevens, and definitely not on two shit, and I ain't on nothing at all, and now you still do what you do every time I have talked with third grade English language in an intense, uh, designed to push the issue to make you move your fucking mouth and talk, man. Because we need to get to the bottom of some shit, dad and mom, of who was doing what to who down there at the Catholic Youth Center with the Christian, spiritual, charismatic, evangelical, born-again Roman Catholic Church. Wow, dude. Dad, man, you're such a born-again man. I want you to tell me all about your born-again experience. Here is my version of what I believe to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth about this situation to the best of my ability. Here's what I heard from the few stories I remember that my dad told me because he only ever told me a few. Yeah, even though I'm surrounded by Stephen family history, and anytime, there's a good one for you. Hey, hey, family of life. Hey, mi familia, mi familia de las estrellas. You know someone who's one of the 144,000. Would you please send a message to them for me? Ask them to promote it a lot. See, the thing is about... The reason why us, um, um, see, now, if I was to call myself a royal, dude, if I was to call myself a royal, I would insane claim that to be the truth of myself, then I would be going to the fucking second world tribunals on crimes against humanity, man, like Prince Albert. Or whoever that pedophile prince of the royal family was. And uh, Prince, uh, uh, Queen Elizabeth, huh? And Queen Elizabeth gave no fucks. Because all she did is be pictured with him taking a walk in the garden. So he says, I am, um, what he says is, nothing changes. I just don't do anything anymore. But fuck little girls on the downtown, uptown, everywhere. Dude, Jeffrey Epstein did not just fuck the one woman that has photographic proof, but what everyone in the public that is a pedophile that supports pedophilia, which is like 80% of the American public, they believe whatever they hear on the news. So they believe that that photograph is altered, is conjured up. Dude, man, hey, can we, I believe it, man. Let's make a bet. Let's make some money. Let's. Get that woman who was raped by um Prince Philip or whatever Prince you probably raped by all of them. That's how they um in the gangs they beat you up till you're almost dead, or they make you go kill someone. In the royal family, if you're not royal family, but the royal family bought you, well. Show you a welcome home party. And you can get an idea of what it's like if you go to Wookie Foot shows at Harmony Park in Minnesota. Another world-class 
satanic cult with demonics going on. I personally treated as a shaman and a spiritual expert and an expert in demonology and exorcism. I personally treated until he just said, fuck you, he thought I was kidding. But I confirmed it because I've seen it. And you know what? Schizophrenic. Hey, here's my case manager 